him. I discovered the Reaver suspiciously laid across my path. Again, I sensed nothing of that temporal distortion, the peculiar sense of displacement I had felt when I encountered the Reaver in William's Chapel. Cornered here with the blade, I suffered the same nameless dread that I had experienced when Janos first presented the Reaver to me. I felt at once repelled by the blade, and yet, overwhelmingly compelled to seize it. So, Razier, here we are, finally. You have no choice but to confront me now, and I am not so foolish as I've let you believe. We have business to conclude. You knew I would lead the Seraphan to Janos, you vile bastard. You've been orchestrating my every move. <laughs> My destiny is an amusement to you. It was fun while it lasted. I think not, Raziel. Malik, do not let this creature leave. He poses a danger to the circle. Poor, deluded Raziel. Did you somehow imagine you had the guile to change history on me? I'm the time streamer. I knew your every intention before you did, you imbecile. Lord Mobius, there is trouble within. The circle is under Hold attack. Hold fast, Malik. This one is the real danger to us. What are you trying to concoct here, Mobius? You toxic creature. Did you imagine I'd simply allow you to run loose, corrupting everything you encounter? I admit that I've underestimated you to this point, Mobius. But it's a mistake I won't repeat. Wrong again, Marcia. Now, Malik, bolt the door. Using his staff to disable my wraith blade. Mobius effectively disarmed me, leaving me with only one choice of weapon. And yet I confess, it was not the lack of options, but blind rage that made me take up the Reaver. In my fury, it felt as though my hand had acted of its own will. And now, that same hand clutched the hilt with unyielding strength, and I felt a constrained tingling. A remote but palpable sense of longing as the disabled wraith blade tried vainly to embrace its physical twin. I recognize these two as my former brethren, in life as Seraphan, and in unlife as Cain's vampire sons. Melchiah and Zephon, the weakest of Cain's brood. These bastards had no idea what future lay in store for them, how they would become the very thing they so despised. The Reaver hummed with ravenous anticipation. 
Janos had called it a vampiric blade, endowed with the power to drain its victims of their lifeblood. I was eager to see what the Reaver would do to these two. and Zephon fell before my blade. I felt the Reaver's bloodthirst as keenly as I ever had when I was still a vampire. I could sense the boundary between us dissolving. The Reaver was consumed with my rage, and I was intoxicated by its bloodlust. The blade had a vitalizing effect on me. My physical energy no longer decayed over time, and the wounds inflicted by my foes healed almost instantly. The Reaver had made me invincible. Have you come to reclaim the monster's black heart? You'll have to get to us first. My former brethren, Duma and Rahab, confronted me next. This all seemed so elegantly choreographed. Exhilarated by the Reaver, I was drunk with revelations. I could finally appreciate the delicious irony of Cain's blasphemous private joke. And I reveled as I colluded with him across the centuries. For it was I who put these bastards in their tomb, thus providing the corpses for Cain to raise as his vampire sons a millennium from now.
Get back to the pit you crawled from, demon. And here at last was my brother Turel, who along with Duma would bear me into the abyss without questioning Cain's command. So dutiful and righteous, even as a vampire. I guess some habits die hard. The vampire Turel had eluded my vengeance. The Sarathan Turel would not. destroyed my brethren, and now you've come for me. You'll find I'm not such easy prey. I don't want to kill you, but I will if I must. Return the heart to me, and we can end this now. So, you've come to avenge that filthy parasite and reclaim his foul heart. You're a righteous fiend, aren't you? Apparently, I am. No, vampire. This is where it ends. But you won't be leaving this room. Now, let's finish this. I'll make it mercifully quick. As you did for Janos? <laughs> no, that beast had eluded us for far too long. It would have been a shame to end him too quickly. It's ironic, really. The great Janos Aldrin turned out to be no challenge at all. Thanks to you. Did you hear his cowardly screams when I tore that black heart out of his carcass?
So it ends. My history comes full circle. Sensing its twin, the wraith blade uncoiled itself from me, and instead wound lovingly around its former self. I felt its grip loosen, and as the blade left me, its absence chilled me more than its presence ever had. A foreboding sense of emptiness and loss stole over me, and a terrible revelation gathered like a storm at the edge of my awareness. With all other foes exhausted, the conjoined blades turned themselves on me, and I realized, finally, why I had sensed nothing when Janos offered me the blade. The Reaver was never forged to be a soul-stealing weapon. The ravenous, soul-devouring entity trapped in the blade was, and always had been, me. This is why the blade was destroyed when Cain tried to strike me down. The Reaver could not devour its own soul. The paradox shattered the blade. So, this was my terrible destiny. To play out this purgatorial cycle for all eternity. I could not bear it. Despair overwhelmed me. You. weakening, unable to hold on any longer. The Reaver was too strong, the compulsion to simply let go, too great. And then, a growing sense of vertigo and the familiar displacement, the paradoxical moment when my twin soul hovered both outside and inside the Reaver blade. This was the instant. The glimmer of temporal distortion Cain had been counting on all along. This was the edge of the coin, the minute flicker of probability upon which Cain had gambled everything. <laughs> Now you are free to reclaim your true destiny, Raziel. Behind Cain's eyes, I could see new memories blooming and dying as history labored to reshuffle itself around this monumental obstruction. And I could see by the dawning horror on his face that perhaps we had strained history too far this time. That by trying to alter my fate, he may have introduced a fatal paradox. My god. The Hilden. We walked right into their trap. Raziel. Janos must stay dead. But Cain's warning was lost as I slipped into the spirit realm, too weak to maintain my physical form. And there, waiting for me as always, was the Reaver, the Wraith Blade, my own soul, twinned and bound eternally to me. And I realized that I could never escape my terrible destiny. I had merely postponed it. History abhors a paradox.